Okay, so I want to paint this little um, female house finch. And I like how the little feathers on her head and some of the um, feathers here in this area and here and these little whites, um, I want to preserve them and, and keep them the way the paper. However, I also want to glaze the entire piece as an underpainting. So I'm going to use masking fluid just to preserve those, those tiny little highlights um, in these areas. And then I'll be able to glaze the entire piece and those will remain white. I'm going to use my favorite masking fluid, Incredible White Mask, and my little, um, little masking fluid applicator from Gary Spetz. So, does a really good job of just allowing me, so I can see where I'm putting it. Okay, so I'm just gonna, and less is more. You don't need much at <laughs> all. So I just wanna save a little of these tiny areas. Too big of a glob right there, but it's kind of a cluster, so I will just spread that out. Oh yeah, that didn't work too good, but maybe just a couple dots. I know it's really hard to see. I do want uh, a tiny highlight across his beak, her beak, excuse me, ma'am. Okay. And she's not showing a highlight on her eye, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little, just a little tiny dot there to suggest that. And then in this area, I'm going to, again, just add a few little dabs to suggest those highlights of those lighter feathers. Okay, I'm going to do a warm glaze to begin, and she's uh, warm in this. I guess it was probably morning sun. And so these feathers I'm not going to worry about because this, all these highlights are going to be towards the edge of the paper and we don't really care about that. We, we don't want to draw the eye that way. So I um, so hope you can see the little dots of masking fluid. And this is just, I think, a six by six piece of paper. So these are pretty tiny. So this little, this little masking fluid um, applicator works pretty well. And that's all for this demo. Okay, now the masking fluid is bone dry. I'm going to um, apply the, the glaze on dry paper. So I've mixed up some pretty watery puddles, let's see if you can see them, of uh, Arelin and Quinacridone Gold. I'm gonna put the uh, gold over the bird and then the Aurelian more in the background so that the bird will be warmer and I've already dripped paint, so let's get started. I've uh, I mixed it up pretty watery, I'm just using a big brush, and uh, this is a one inch flat. And I think I'll just have the the uh, the warmest area um, just right around the bird's face. So let's dip into that. It may look pretty dark now, or may not, but it will dry lighter. So and. I'm just going to uh, lift it and tilt it and let that uh, paint move. You can see how shiny wet it is. And perhaps you can even see where the masking fluid was applied and those areas will be reserved the white of the paper. 
So I think that we're good with that. We'll show you when it dries. All right, it looks like, okay, now that the wash is bone dry, I can remove the masking and then I'll be ready to paint. I've saved my little white highlights. Let's see, get them all off. And you can see how tiny they are. That little masking brush does a great job. 